It's funny. I'm in Alabama right now, so I'm filming in the bathroom of a hotel. Hotel party. How many of you guys are in Alabama? Ooh, I got lost in Alabama earlier today. It's been fun. So I'm feeling a little restless, so I decided I would make a shoe unboxing video for you guys. I have the most precarious filming setup right now constructed out of a lap desk, an ice chamber, and a tissue box, and like it's just, it's both semi-amazing and extremely frightening at the same time. And I swear cave people are staying next door because I'm hearing all these like loud bangings or it could be something else. Let's not go there. So before I get started, I do have to give a quick shout out to Cat Sketch. You guys have to watch the newest video that she did. I will put the link somewhere in this video. She made her sketch vlog about a fictitious real life date between me and Johnny Depp. How much fun is that? I'm in love with it, so you guys have to go watch it. Go show her channel and go show her video some love because I'm in love with it. It was the greatest thing that happened all day. Should I show you guys the shoes which are so elegantly sitting in the shower right now? <laughs> These are the shoes that you guys saw in my outfit of the day video. I guess that was about two days ago now. Saturday, so today is Monday. The Vivian Westwood Melissa sandals. Oh, I have so much room to move in here. This is crazy. It's like it doesn't matter where I am. I still have to film in a bathroom. I don't even know. I don't even know. Also, side note, this is the most scandalous shoe unboxing video I've ever made. I can't get the buckle to buckle. Excuse me. Technical difficulties. So much easier when it's on your foot. If you guys follow me on Twitter or anything, God, it's like I'm like a rabbit in a magic act today. I'm like, hey, you guys. If y'all follow me on Twitter, you might have seen me reference these shoes a couple times. These are the shoes that I ordered from China. So this is the most scandalous shoe unboxing video I've ever made. Why, you ask? Because these are knockoffs. So quite apparently, the these shoes did come out in 2009 and I totally missed it. As with all things, and if people think this is corny, whatever, I get a lot of fashion inspiration these days from Tumblr because to be quite honest, fashion magazines, in my opinion, aren't what they used to be. And a lot of my favorite magazines have gone out of print that I used to read for fashion inspiration. So I know that that sounds lame or some people might like rake me over the coals for that. Do not care. Tumblr is kind of in a strange way taking the place of what magazines used to do just to kind of like give me inspiration or whatever. So I have been seeing these all over my dash, all over everywhere on some of my favorite blogs and I decided, oh hey, I'm gonna get these because obviously I'm on vacation right now. And I was looking for a cool pair of sandals that I could kind of wear every day, especially when I'm at Walt Disney World. And so I wanted to get these. Little did I know they came out in 2009 and they're completely sold out of every legitimate place that you could buy the real ones. And so, me in a desperate sense of desperation. I was like, oh, I really, really, really want these shoes. So I started kind of like Googling and I originally found somebody on eBay who was selling a real pair, but they were used and they were white. I really wanted black. And they were selling them for $390. So that really like, I was like, okay, need to see if some knockoffs exist. So the first place I went, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think the first place I found these was Talbo Spree. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but they, I don't know why all the vendors still had this item listed because they were all completely sold out and they didn't make them anymore. So then I went to this website called iOffer and I just want to tell you guys that it seems a little bit scary but I had overall a pretty good experience with it. So just for everybody's convenience I'm going to link the exact vendor and the exact listing that I bought these shoes from because I know a lot of you commented in my outfit of the day video saying that you were looking for these shoes and you couldn't find them. So in my experience, this was a reputable seller. Now, if you read my tweets on Twitter, you guys, uh, you guys knew that I was getting a little bit alarmed that they were not going to come and that I had been scammed, yada yada, but evidently I have them. So that was the only thing that I did get a little bit nervous about because this was the longest I've ever had to wait for anything to come in the mail to me. It took pretty much exactly one month. And I mean, I guess I probably wouldn't have been that bothered by it, except for I really wanted to get them for my trip. So if they didn't come in time for my trip, I would have been screwed. So it's a good thing I ordered them when I did. I ordered them right at the beginning of March and I got them 
Friday, so I don't know, that was sometime in April. These were $150, which is actually pretty much what the real ones did cost. I think the real ones were like $175 or something, so these were just a little bit cheaper, but the knockoff quality of these, let me just tell you, I've never ever bought a knockoff pair of shoes before, but I swear, like side by side, you cannot tell the difference. And a lot of you in my outfit of the day video thought that these were the real thing, right? Right? You thought they were the real deal? This is like the best knockoff job I've ever seen anything because side by side comparison, even the insole has the exact same Vivian Westwood label and everything. And as you guys saw the top of the box, you know, says Vivian Westwood. Now we're gonna talk about the box. I really just saved the box to show you guys how ridiculous it is. Like they even put the label and everything on the back and the care instructions. And it's just, it's crazy. So it really, God, I just ran into a wall. Cool, this is now a comedy. The box did come to me pretty beat up because that was the only weird thing is the box came wrapped in like this tape. Thing. It was just like wrapped in tape, so I had to like, uh, like carefully cut it with a knif and like free the box. But you know, why am I complaining about a shoe box? Just now we're talking two minutes about shoe boxes on Graveyard Girls channel. I make no sense. I definitely wore these all weekend trying to break them in, basically the moment that I got them on Friday. These are super ridiculously comfortable to walk in. They feel a little bit heavy when they're in your hand because this is solid like rubberized material. Yeah, yes. But they're not really that heavy. I don't notice it at least when I'm walking in them. They're very spongy actually. It feels like you're flying. It's really spongy to walk in. I kind of enjoy like jumping. I think that's why I was so springy in my video the other day because these are kind of fun to just like get some air time. Ha ha ha. Pun intended. They are definitely like a throwback to the 90s in my opinion which is totally you know Joe Boxer up my alley with like the jelly style and everything. And this part, the bridge of the shoe, is extremely comfortable. I didn't get any blisters with that at all. The ankle strap, it took me a little bit of time to figure out what the proper adjustment was for the most comfortable wear because, you know, it's like those belts where you just like move it, you know, like move the prongs. And now I'm explaining what a belt is, just in case you don't know. The wings do come off just in case for any inexplicable reason you would ever want to remove the wings. My only complaint that I am having a little bit of a problem breaking them in is this little ankle part right here that encapsulates your heel. That was kind of giving me a little bit of a blister, but basically by the time I was wearing them on whatever day is not today. Sunday. Yeah, yes. When I wore them on Sunday, I didn't have a problem with them at all. And I mean, it was just like a minor little blister. I really have no complaints about these shoes. They arrived in perfect condition. I love them. You cannot tell the original from the fake. I know it's scandalous and super horrible to buy knockoffs. If I could have bought the real thing, I would have. The other thing I think is really cool is this heel. Like I'm sure you guys can see. It's kind of, you know, and I'm not sure because I don't really know anything about any kind of like cultural fashion sense at all but it kind of reminds me of what are the Japanese shoes where they kind of y'all probably know what I'm talking about that's kind of what it reminds me of so kawaii other thing was sizing the bottom of the shoe says large normally I can wear either a seven or a seven and a half so just to be safe since I was ordering these you know from far 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 away I told them that I was a seven and a half and so that's quite apparently a size large so you can probably just tell the seller if you want to order if you're conveniently my same size that you want a size large. Just really quickly, I will tell you guys about I offer. Supposedly you can like negotiate with people. I'm the world's worst negotiator, so I didn't even try any negotiation. They just had them listed for $150 and that was inclusive of shipping. And so I just jumped on it. I was like, okay, that seems like, I just wanted to order them so that they would get to me in time for my vacation. So if any of you guys order these and you try and barter with them, let me know. Make me jealous that you guys got some kind of like lower rate. They're available in black, red, and some kind of like white kind of creamy pearlescent color. But I figured I'd wear black the most, so that's why I got black. The seller whose item I'm gonna list down below for you, they were really nice to me. I did message them three times over the process, you know, the first time to like get the transaction in motion. Cause you do have to like go through the eye offer thing where it would be like you're offering them a price, you know, but they were just like, oh, 150, we have your color and size. And so that was the first 
first message then the second one I asked if I could get a tracking number and then the third I was like are they really coming did you really mail them and they were like yes don't worry so I need to go give them positive feedback which I've yet to do because I'm a bad person so the other day before I left town I did film a little bit it's not the same footage as from my outfit of the day so don't worry if you already saw that this is something new and fresh so I did walk around a little bit because I thought that that would be more fun to show you guys how the shoes wear outside. I don't know, I've been into filming outside lately, so while I'm on my vacation, I'm gonna try and film some more outdoorsy type videos for you guys. I think that would be really cool. So I'm gonna insert that clip now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful please give an alligator a pair of wings stay and subscribe to the swamp party if you want you can leave me a comment down below let me know what you think let me know if you're gonna order them let me know if you have them you know just leave me something to read if you want you can like me on facebook facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on twitter tumblr or instagram which i swear is still gonna be cool even though facebook just bought them out for a billion dollars that's still my new favorite app so you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, also at Graveyard Girl. And please don't forget to go watch Cat Sketch's video. That's the closest to Johnny Depp I'll ever get. I even made it my phone wallpaper because I am that excited about it. I will see you guys later and bye. Next time you guys see me, I'll be in Savannah. So...